Hello guys, you are tuning in to the d July 5th, the day after the 4th of July. We are in a very hot day, it must be about 95 today, humidity is off the chain, but we are walking into a yurt to camp for the night and we are pulling everything, our cooler and stuff, in this little wagon here. And hopefully we don't come across too many more obstacles like this and that. But if we do, we're just lifting it up over. So, yeah. Come join us on our hot excursion today and uh, take care. Alright guys, we're about a mile into the hike here, just kind of sitting off in a shady area here to cool off a little bit and rehydrate. You know, just really having a hard time with the heat and being so hairy, she gets hot faster than the rest of us. We're all really hot and sweating and it feels like we just jumped into a swimming pool. It sounds pretty nice. But um, yeah, we're going to finish our break here and head on down the trail. We got about two more miles and we'll show you the yurt. Hello guys, just gonna give you a little view of where we are. We're coming up on a meadow here, up out of the cottonwoods behind me. See that? So we're gonna mosey on that way. We haven't been around the corner there. Hopefully we see a yurt soon. Guys, getting to the finish line here. Christian's pulling the leg back there. But right around the corner here, we can see the white roof of the yurt we're going to be staying in. I don't know if you can see it. I'll get into this meadow here. Oh, it looks like it's going down under, but. We'll just uh, show you a closer view when we get up there. All right. All right. We have reached our destination for the night. All sweaty and tired, but nonetheless, we are here. This is the yurt. So. Uh, let you guys yeah, take a look when we get there. Sorry, I'm talking kind of out of it. It's kind of hot out here. We need to get some shade and get some food. But there's a little fire pit and the vault toilet is right over there. But I don't think there's going to be anybody coming in here. It's really hot. So, that's just some lunatics that want to go hiking weather. I don't think we'll see many people today, but all right. Going in right now, it looks like. Oh, it's hot as shit. <laughs> I bet. Oh, don't come in here. Oh. oh, it's like an oh oven in God. here. It is really like an oven. Is it ever going to cool down? Uh, no, probably. 
I gotta open this stuff in, but this is a yurt. Which is pretty hot. I'm gonna film from out here. Or how about just I'll just film when it cools down a little bit. See so you guys in a bit. Hey guys. Um we're all kinda of settled in now here at the yurt. Eating just some snack here. Got the solar panels laid out. That's my new one up there. I'm gonna do a review on that, but just a little little portable one to clip on your bag. Works pretty nice. But I'm gonna take you on in here on the side of the yurt here. When you first walk in to the left, got a little coat hanger. And on each uh, corner in front of the windows they have these propane lanterns with the mantles in there. They're pretty nice. Um, got a set of bunk beds. The bottom one looks like about a queen and it's maybe a, I don't know, pretty small one up there. But up here we got a table. Just kind of got our stuff laid out on there. And the neat thing about these things, uh, all the windows just kind of roll up from the outside there. So you can get a nice breeze. We're going to be sleeping with all these windows open. It's just got a screen there separating from the outside and that's pretty nice. There's a little fireplace right there. I doubt we'll be using that at all, but be nice for the fall. Winter. People can even use these in the winter apparently. Uh, it's kind of covered with this plastic stuff. I don't know. I'll give you a quicker look outside. But this is a neat deal up here. It's just kind of a little clear dome. I'm not sure what it's made out of, but it should be neat to see the stars at night. If a person lived in one of these. But as we come outside, around the outside of the yurt, this box right here is just something that they have built to store the wood in for the fireplace. I just go around the outside of this thing. And the trail kind of mosey on down that way. It's also a long way in to get to where we are right now, close to the trail that we came in. But yeah, it's kind of a neat little area. This is the outtake for the fireplace in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna kind of let the sun drop down a little bit more and then probably gonna cook up some hot dogs again tonight some macaroni and cheese some s'mores maybe but yeah will be about it for this video I'll see you guys tomorrow on our way out of here uh, gonna do a little uh, time-lapse video of inside to give you a better look with the GoPro so I'll play that right after this video. So thanks guys for watching. Have a good evening. Talk to you later. Bye.